Hey Mr. Fitz here, hope you're going well. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic CAD model for the steel frame for this particular bedside table. So this is going to be part of your major project, um, but in this tutorial, I'm going to give you the basic rundown of how to build the frame, um, so that way you can design your own. Um, but we're going to start by creating this basic frame. So all students should have this one to start with. And then we can look after you design the first skills task to actually modify this to suit your own. So starting with Onshape, we always create a new document. Always make sure you've signed up correctly and that your units are in millimetres. New document. We're going to call this Bedside Project. So it's good to have this name for the whole project. And within this document, we're going to create various parts of this. Let this one load up. Cool. All right. So many of you who are new to Onshape, just take your time to follow through this video. Um, I've got a lot of other videos too to help you, but this should be fairly straightforward for beginners. So we're going to start with a sketch. Best place to start for this is going to be the top plane. Um, you don't have to use this one, but it's logical that we're looking down on our frame. So this sketch is going to be right here. If it helps you, you can click on top on this little icon here to change your view. And I might just zoom out a fraction. All right, we're going to start by doing a basic rectangle. Now, the particular bedside that we're going to draw here, I already know the dimensions for this. So it's going to be 400, the frame itself will be 400 by 400 by 400, nice, even and square. So I'm actually going to draw a rectangle from that corner, click and drag it out. Don't worry about the size of it, just, just draw a rectangle to start with. Now I'm going to use the dimension tool to make this line, click, drag down and place. This one's going to be 400. You see that it's going to zoom itself out, click on the top to re-zoom it and click drag and click again to place this one is 400. Now the reason why I'm doing a rectangle here I'm going to use this essentially as a construction for my project. So escape to get out of the dimension tool. Now each of these lines here if I click these and with my right mouse button I'm going to make these constructions. So right mouse button click the line Go construction, right click construction, right click construction. So we're just going to use these to build our design, but they won't be included in our extrusions. All right, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the corner rectangle tool and I'm going to build the four corners of my project. So let's just drag out four basic rectangles, clicking in the corner and bring it in here. Now press escape to get out of the rectangle tool. You'll notice that anything in blue, you can grab the corner and drag it and move it around. Now, I want these to all be the same. What I'm going to do is use a clever little construction um, constraint here called equal. This one here. This is going to make lines equal. So the way this works is you click on equal, then you click on the lines you want equal. So this and this equal. This does it in pairs. So this and this equal. Now I want to say that one and that one also equal, so across they're the same. This one and this one equal, this one and this one, this one and this one, and this one in this one. doesn't matter the order, as long as you do it in pairs, you're making them all equal. Okay, press escape to get out of the equal command. Now as far as dimensions, I need to apply some dimensions on this, so just be careful when you do this. Just make sure you're clicking on one of your lines, drag this out and place it. Doesn't matter which of the four you choose, but this only needs one dimension. So our frame is going to be 15 by 15. There we go. It all shrinks down to size. They all look the same. If you make any errors as you go in this, just go back in the project, the backspace tool there. Um, you can, if you want to, draw another one here for 15. You'll notice if you put too many dimensions in it, it goes gray. Cool. That's the first part of my design. Now I'm going to turn this into 3D. This is just a 2D sketch as if I'm looking down on it. 
So this is the button here to extrude my sketch. Now to help me view this better, just click on the corner of your frame here. So this little view cube allows you to rotate. Also, if you press your right mouse button and hold it, you can spin and orbit. Cool. All right, this frame is going to come up. Now I'm going to make this depth 400. That's how tall the vertical bits are going to go. You can zoom out or press the angle again to fit that into your view. And then click on the tick. Uh, by default, the program will make them all different colors. We can come back in later and change that. Cool, first part of our design. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another sketch now and I'm gonna sketch if you have a look at the design. Um doesn't matter the orientation of this, but I'm gonna just draw the horizontals across here. Next. So let's do them all together. So what I can do, because the horizontals are gonna go across here, across here, here, and here, I can do another sketch. Now click the sketch tool. Now I'm going to draw a sketch on one of these inside faces. So you could pick this one or you could pick this one. Um, I'm going to choose this one. Doesn't really matter which one you choose. And now I'm drawing on that plane. So that also includes this face. All right, this should be fairly easy to do, but you're just going to have to zoom in. Now using the rectangle tool, what we can do is click on the corner of the top. Bring this one down and click here. Now we need four of these, so one there, one here. Zoom into this side, click on the corner. Make sure you're snapping to the first corner and then across to the other side. Cool, that looks good. Now again, I'm gonna use my equal constraint, so I can say that and that is equal. As I said, it takes a bit of zooming in and out, so just use your mouse wheel to do that, or if you're on an iPad, um, you can also click back on here, or you can orbit it. Equal, 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 equal. You'll notice that they all turn black when I do that, because the distance from here to here is already defined, so I, need, I don't need any dimensions in here. These will be 15, because the rest of the model is 15. Cool, nice and easy. That's that's finished now, so I can go extrude. These are going to come back in this direction, so you can drag it. Now, a clever little tool to use here. There's a few important parts here. Um, I'm going to do these as uh, new, so you can add or do this as a new solid, but I'll do this as a new solid. Now, I'm going to extrude this one up to next. So what that's going to do is it doesn't matter my size of my frame, it's going to keep sending that all the way until it runs into the next shape. That's good enough for me. Click on the tick, and that will draw those ones. Um, these are building these, as you can see on the left-hand side of my model, these are building these as separate parts. So they're not actually joined yet, which is cool. doesn't matter if they're joined yet or not. All right, um, now in my frame, there's a there's a horizontal here and a horizontal back there as well let's do those ones next sketch again so i'm going to pick say this inside face here to do the next ones um, and this is the same again just basic rectangles this one here is even better i can actually snap between there and there so click on that corner to start and that corner to finish and you can see that that already constrains it because it's driven by this and this. Just go back one if you do this the other way. So if you go from there to there, you'll notice that it doesn't need another dimension. You can just grab this corner and click it to there. Cool. All right. Same thing repeated. Use the extrude tool. That's the right direction. Make sure it's on new as far as a solid and change the depth rather than being a dimension. I'm going to change from blind to up to next. That's going to run all the way to there and stop. Beautiful, that looks good. Click on the tick. All right, I'm almost there. This frame has one more piece at the bottom which joins in the center. This one's just a little bit trickier to do, but I'm going to do a sketch on here, on that bit of frame, and draw a rectangle. 
Now, it doesn't matter here where I do it. I can do this over here somewhere. Just draw a rectangle. There it is. Um, on it, this one, we need a dimension on it. So this horizontal here, you can click on there, drag up and place. This is going to be 15. Now, as you can see, there's still blue lines here. So just click out of the dimension. The only thing that this is missing at the moment is it doesn't know where it is in a horizontal space. Now, to be a bit clever here, I'm going to draw in a, a vertical line. I'm going to find the midpoint of this orange frame. As I hover over it, you can see here, it wants to snap to the midpoint. Click on that midpoint. I'm just going to draw a vertical line here. Actually, I'm going to draw it between here and here. Draw it down to there. Press escape. Now I can right click and turn that to a construction line. What that's done is it's just giving me two points to snap to. So what I can now do is move this across like so. And I'm wanting to snap the midpoint of these two. So what I can do, in fact, an easy way to do it is to change this to midpoint. And I'm going to say that line there is going to go to the midpoint of there. There we go. That's now constrained. That looks good. Last step is extrude. And this one, exactly the same as the others, I'm going to change to up to next. Beautiful. Click on the tick. And there's your frame. Pretty basic. But that, for the starting point, is good enough. Um, in this on shape model, you can also click on the little eyeballs on the f uh, these planes for starters. That just turns them off. You turn off the origin, and there's your frame. Cool. Um, that's the first steps. If you're able to achieve that, that's pretty wild. Um, you'll find that this model doesn't actually have a lot of features in it. So it's got four extrusions, and the original sketch here. If I edit this sketch, I can control the size of this frame very quickly with two dimensions or three. So the frame um, width as well as the height. So pretty cool. Um, the only thing that's kind of a little bit weird on this is you can see that these aren't actually hollow. hollow they're all solid. Um, that's okay for now. I can show you in a later video the next steps to modify your frame. Um, and we're going to hollow these out so they actually look representative. Um, in the very next video, I'm going to show you how to join this all together and finish it off. But that's good enough for now. That gives you the, the starting point for your frame. Cool. Best of luck. As I said, get used to using these videos. Go back in the video if you need help or you've missed some steps. Um, I do click pretty fast, but give it a crack. If you're stuck, give me a shout. Cheers.